Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to share with all of you a 5 minute exercise routine and especially if you are a diabetic, this can actually do wonders. The reason why exercise should be a very important part of a diabetic's life is because it improves insulin sensitivity. Exercise enhances the sensitivity of muscle cells to insulin. Second is enhanced glucose uptake. During physical activity, muscles contract and utilize the glucose to energy independently of insulin. This non-insulin mediated glucose uptake helps to lower the blood glucose levels during and after exercise. Next is better glycemic control. Now, regular exercise helps in maintaining consistent blood sugar levels. It can prevent the spikes and dips in the blood glucose that is harmful to individuals with diabetics for sure. Exercise promotes the use of glucose by muscles and helps in storing it as a glycogen providing a steady state of glucose utilization next one is weight management exercise contributes to calorie expenditure and helps in achieving and maintaining healthy weight which is again very crucial for a person who has type 2 diabetes moving on is the cardiovascular benefits people with diabetes are at higher risk of cardiovascular diseases exercise can strengthen the heart and improve circulation Next is muscle strength and mass. Strength training exercise helps build muscle mass, which plays a crucial role in glucose metabolism. More muscle mass means more circulation, more glucose uptake and storage, which can help you lower the blood glucose levels. Increased muscle strength also aids in overall mobility and daily function. Last, the stress reduction. Exercise is known to reduce stress and anxiety which can directly affect blood sugar levels. Stress hormones like cortisol can cause blood sugar levels to rise. Regular physical activity promotes the release of endorphins which improve mood and reduces stress leading to better diabetes management. Again, if you are less stressed, if you are less stressed, you have better quality of sleep and it also helps in reducing your inflammation. Chronic inflammation is a common problem in diabetes and is also associated with insulin resistance. Exercise is an anti-inflammatory effect that can reduce markers of inflammation in the body. So yes, here is a 5-minute exercise that you can do at any time of the day. But particularly if you do it after your breakfast, after your first meal of the day, you get the better uptake of glucose to variety of muscles and help you reduce your blood sugar spike as well. Also, if you don't get time after you're finishing your meals, it is okay to do it in early morning itself. Do it anytime. It does not incorporate any jumping, running that you can't do it after meals. It's completely safe and it's even better if you do it after your meals. So yes, just five minutes sitting closely with yourself. You move your calf muscles. The reason why we are moving calf muscles is because it's directly linked to reduce your blood sugar spike and better uptake of glucose by the muscles directly from the calves, which is very, very important. It increases insulin sensitivity. So yes, slowly go on your toes back on your foot. Do it very slowly and steadily. Continuous calf movement helps you get better with your insulin sensitivity next one is a stretch sitting for a longer period of time can actually lead to stretchy unstretchy strict very rigid muscles so you need that good stretch you stretch your body as much as you can and then you stretch your shoulders the muscles being little active and helps you reduce the rigidity and stiffness then we again push our knees right to left all these exercises needs to be done for 30 to 60 seconds helps you get better improved insulin sensitivity better sleep quality stress reduction enhanced mitochondrial function which indirectly helps a lot if you are having type 2 diabetes Always remember that diet plays a major role when it comes to any metabolic disorder. So make sure that you eat in balance with good amount of protein. You have balanced amount of whole grains, lots of vegetables and fruits in your diet so that you have a balanced meal in order to combat all of these disorders and maintain your lifestyle in a much better way. 
all of these exercises that i'm sharing with you is an addition to a good lifestyle that you live if you're not taking good care of your sleep if you're not taking good care of what you eat you won't be able to see any results for better management of type 2 diabetes thyroid or pcod make sure that you incorporate a good lifestyle which comes with a healthy diet exercise regularly not just this one but also regular strength training exercise good cardiovascular exercise and better sleep so when you are good with all the parameters and better lifestyle as a whole then you will definitely see some improvement in management of your type 2 diabetes your hp a1c level going down and definitely these all exercises that i'm sharing with you here are a quick addition to what you have been doing as a part of your lifestyle you can do it at any time of the day after your meals you don't need to be at any specific pace you can do it at your work desk as well all of these exercises are pretty much workable breathing exercise movement of your calf muscles stretching your upper body all of this can easily be done from your desk itself even if you have like a 9 to 5 job so yes try to add them to your daily routine uh, as much as you can and do let me know in the comment section if you find any difference and if you have shared this with person who may need it because i know that you might be watching might not need it at right now and you might uh, not be in the trap of this type 2 diabetes yet but that's okay please do share it with people who may need it because there are many in this world who are facing uh, this issue of type 2 diabetes and we have been becoming diabetes capital of the world so let's promote healthy eating balanced lifestyle and doing the same things at same time every day in order to get better with your health so yes that's it for today's video it's a 5 minute exercise as i shared please try it share it with people who may need it uh, who have type 2 diabetes that can actually make a huge difference and i will see you in my next video till then stay fit stay happy don't forget to comment below of any choice of videos that you want from me i would love to do that for you thank you so much bye bye take care stay fit stay happy